This is session three for the revision for year seven, and it is the forces topic. These are then the instructions for this revision. Number one is watch the session's instructions video. That is this video that you're watching at the moment. Number two is watch the knowledge test video that has just the questions. All right, so what that is, it's a video, it's got lots of blank questions. Pause it each time a question comes up and write your answer onto a piece of paper. Number three, watch the knowledge test video with the answers and mark your work, then repeat any questions you got wrong. Right, so where you've written down your answers on your piece of paper before, watch the video and then mark what you've done. And if you've got anything wrong, repeat it. Because if you don't know the facts, you're not gonna do as well as you should. Number four, watch the walkthrough reverse the classroom video. That has then got lots of diagrams, lots of information on it to help you with the questions at the end. And question number five is write the questions. So on this next part of the video, right, what there are is a number of questions. It could be two, three, four, five questions. Write out the questions from the next part of the video into your revision book. The answers must include the keywords and be in a logical sequence. Now these are then the three questions that I'm going to want you to write in your exercise book, followed up with full detailed answers. What is the difference between a contact and a non-contact force? And name three of each. Now I've left out the keywords there, because if I put keywords in, then what it does, it tells you a lot of the answers. Describe what happens when a skydiver jumps out of a plane and include acceleration and the forces. So you're talking about when they jump out, about how fast they're going, what happens to their speed, and also the forces that are then involved in them going faster or slower or wherever it may well be. And within it, you need to use the word weight, gravity, forces, acceleration, balanced, and terminal velocity. The third question is compare mass and weight. Now, again, if I start to put in key words for this, then what's going to happen? I'm going to be kind of telling you the answers. So you need to look at the videos that I've already provided and it will tell you them. But within your answer, I also want you to include what happens to my mass and weight if I go to the moon and I go to Saturn, because there's an obvious difference. Right, so that was then the forces topic. So again, what you need to do is you need to make sure you write in those answers in full. Uh, and again, I'm just going to write down here, keywords. Okay, and then you need the understanding. And if there's anything you're unsure of, either ask your teacher or Google it. All right, and then you'll be absolutely fine.